Hi folks, uh, we're recording, I back with my old camcorder. I just found something that I didn't know, well I don't know a lot really. Um, but uh, when I first used this, well for the first four years I used this camera, I think I bought another one, uh, a second hand one which, which broke, well the, the, the little socket where you plug the battery charging, charging lead into, uh, the little tab inside it just bent and broke and pushing it. It's very delicate, it's a bad bit of design actually. This one has got a just a just a plug with a hole in it. And it's positive, it doesn't do any damage. And it's just get some more brushes because well, this one's on the stairs now. Uh, right, okay, that, that'll do. Uh, and I used to use Handbrake to change from MOV file to uh, MP4, which is my Windows version. Well, I downloaded Handbrake after much gnashing of teeth yesterday, and I think I've had to uninstall it because when you, I clicked on the video, on the video card, which I pushed into the side of my laptop, I had an option open with. Well, it, it was a, a link to a codec a new codec which Microsoft have installed and it's working perfectly as far as I know it's, I, I was down I download I was downloading the video that I just well uploading to YouTube the one I've just finished and it seems to be going through all through okay I haven't checked it on YouTube yet to see what, what it's all about but uh, so far so good if I could, if, 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 if I can work this out I can get rid of, I can uninstall the handbrake because I don't need it. And I've ordered another camera which has got a pause in record, which is a, a cheapo one. And I have an idea that cheapo ones uh, don't uh, compare with good quality ones, but we'll see. We'll wait and see. I, I only want it for videoing for YouTube or Patreon. So here we go. Let's, uh, I'm going to just draw out a sort of a scene of the Surrey Hills. Fair, uh, fairly. Surrey Hills in Surrey. And uh, we'll have, a, have the River Mole gliding out, big, big tree. Smaller ones here on the land, and a bit of a bit of stuff stuff here. That's all I'm going to do. It's pointless to an elaborate drawing for what I do. It's a waste of time. It gets covered covered up really quick. So uh, I'll work a way around that, but I want to keep some air in there. So I've got this lovely little brush here, lovely uh, Chinese brush, but well, I think it's Chinese. Uh, Cornell, China, yeah, but a good brush. So let's get a quite a, a high key painting. This one, just a just a gentle blue. Of the way of a bit of a bit of mauvey stuff. My daughter lives near this uh, bit of the river mole in Dorking. And when we go over there it's lovely. We, we're in the Surrey Hills just. Dorking is the market town of Surrey and it's, it's a lovely town. Oh, 
Oh, let's get that lighter now. A bit of ochre. Try to remember not to copy contours with clouds. <laughs> it just doesn't, doesn't really work. colour. Oh, okay, we'll put in some Well that horizon nice and light. It's very, very light. It's a lovely, imagining a lovely day. Right, we can go back to that if we need to. Get my cloth and dry. <coughs> well, I'll put a bit of river in. The river won't be white, it will be reflecting the light sky, of course. I'll just get a bit of, bit of blue. I've done this in watercolour a few times. Similar few. Put a background in. I want a bluey bovey. So oh, such a pain's great in that. A bit darker than that, I think. Okay. Now we'll put in a bit of, bit of the. Well, we'll do this tree. Uh, find a, a tree brush, a bit of green, which I've got really mixed. That's a paint's grey. I like paint's grey, it's a very good shortcut. To uh,
We've got the silence. A bit dark in that behind there. Shadow side. Okay, that's it. Put it on the other side, down the deep boughs of the tree. Okay, I just see anything that looks a bit dodgy. Let's go over it. Ah, it's not random, is it? Yeah. Well, let's go for a bite ride tomorrow with the lads. Tomorrow, some happy parts. Uh, it's not going to be a very nice day tomorrow. We don't go out in the rain. Right, okay, let's uh, put in some background, a bit of oak around this and the other. Highly blue trees. Let's have a bit of light on there. Right, now we want some bit of dark greeny colour. Oh, I've got my bottle here. I don't think that's so blue enough. Clean the brush on the on the rag. Put some light back in the tree. Well, not there, of course. That's no. That's the blue pen there. Okay, now we'll get 
get some nice light grasses in. Back here. Pushes. Let's get a bush in front of that tree now. So we don't have to put in a trunk. some white in that, move in that to yellow. Not very good at banks. I expect this will go on into another video, which is a bit of a nuisance with this camera, it's, uh, it's governed. out some more Payne's Grey.
must have a bit of a... Well, we're still recording. I'm just really hoping this new camera will be reasonable and I won't get any, too many complaints. Uh, but it's the pause and record that, I, that is so valuable, especially when you're doing watercolours and you want to dry it. And it keeps telling people to, to, to switch off or pause while you do the hair, hair drying. Well, I'll do a bit of dark under, under here. Right, let's get a bit of darker green in there. Let's get some of that bluey colour. Bit of a mess in here. on the other side here, I think, just to balance it up a bit. So let's get a bit of a grass.
Now we need to line the bank there. Or this meander. Or this meander. I hope you can see all this. Right, I just want to clean this brush and just get a little bit more light in the sky. careful enough with this sanding down. I sand the edges because we cut with a craft knife. And sometimes the sandpaper tends to slip. Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not really delighted, but let's just so that uh, paint's going burnt sienna on the water's edge here. Okay, I'm going to put that in the mount, we'll have a look at it, it's a very quick little sketch. I like the one I've just done, you know, we're all very critical of our own work, we know. Right, there's the uh, grain. Got another one ready for tomorrow. Shame that. A scratch. Oh well, it's a demo. And I am quite time cons constrained with the video turning off or starting a new video. So I'll find out where I go back to my laptop. Okay, there we are. Let's move that. And we'll move that to there. I've had this frame for a long time. It was a photograph frame originally. And, uh, and I just painted it black. It was a, it's plastic. But it's very good for these lovely little small, well, not lovely, these small uh, impressions. Anyway, I hope you like it, folks. Thanks for looking in, and I'll get this uploaded for you on my new codec, whatever that is, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.